But when we went to Utah and I went to school for the first time, immediately noticed that I was different. Immediately, just by looks and by the way that they treated me. Not that they treated me bad, but like questions they would ask me, right? I feel like all my life I always get asked, where are you from? And I, like sometimes they mean, um, where was I, where did I grow up? Where was I born, right? Sometimes they mean that, but a lot of times they're meaning like, what is your I think I was always aware of the fact that I was different, even before I can really remember. My mom told me a story once about how when I was around maybe four years old, I had asked her to go shopping. And, you know, she was curious, like, oh, what is my, what could my four-year-old possibly want to go buy, you mean? And um, I told her I want to buy yellow hair. I definitely suffer from like self-esteem issues, I think, especially in, I would say junior high was probably when it was the worst. Like I had like very young cheeks and I like hated them in like junior high. I hated them. I was like, I hate my round Asian face. Like I hate it. Like I look like, it's, like white chicks who are like, you know, super like angular and like, you know, the way my friends look, the way that celebrities looked, the way that I was just used to seeing like movies and whatnot. So, and like being blonde. I wanted to be blonde just so badly. I was gonna say Mulan. Mulan was a big one that I got all the time. The fact that it was just like, oh, and you, if we're playing princesses, you're Mulan. And it's like, why? Why am I Mulan? And you're not either because I'm brave or I do the right thing or anything like that. You're gonna be like, it's because you're Asian. You know, like since I was a child, like my identity was always explained to me by other people. Like, and there were always people who, you know, didn't look like me, who didn't share my ethnicity. And, you know, it felt like every single person had to point out that I was different. I mean, everyone's already awful as it is in junior high, right? And then on top of that, it's like you are different from all of your friends, right? And so it feels like I don't want to be different in this way. Like, I, why can't I have like, you know, the big doe eye, why can't I, right? Like, why can't I look like that? My brother and I went through phases of wearing color contacts to have like light colored eyes. Like I would forget that I'm Asian. And unless like it was up. So sometimes the way it was brought up is like looking at a picture, like with me and my friends. And I'm like, God, I look so different from that. God, I look so Asian. Why are my eyes so squinty? Like in this picture, right? Like it's stuff like that. It, I just wanted so badly, you know, to please people and, not be offensive by simply being who I am. It's like a thank you for reminding me that I'm like different in an outsider sense. Like I remember lunches, like if I brought lunch home and it was right, like at all ethnic. <laughs> there were questions about that. There were definitely questions about that. I think especially when I was younger, probably more like junior high to high school age, I would forget that I was Asian. Like I would literally forget. I would not think about these things, right? Until it was like a subject, until it was like a topic. And sometimes things were like neutral. Sometimes it was like a positive, you know, add into the discussion or situation. And then sometimes it was negative. Photo ops are the ones that killed me. The photo ops are the ones that like annoyed me so much where it's like I pulled up a little thing that's like hashtag diversity or like, you know, companies, this company supports like hashtag diversity. I was just like, are you saying you just hired me and promoted me because I'm Asian and a woman? Like, that feels kind of <laughs> I remember I was in primary school once and the primary school teacher had asked me where my parents were from and I told her, you know, well my dad grew up in Tokyo and she said, oh, so your dad's a Jap. In Utah, one of the things that I think makes it difficult to grow up there as an Asian American is the fact that there's these subtle stereotypes that not everyone addresses. I know that I dealt with kids in junior high who immediately just like didn't like me, placed me in a category of gross or not likable or whatever simply because I was Asian, literally because of the way that I like looked. As a kid, I heard things like, oh, Asian people are rude and they're cheap and you can't trust them. And I believe those stereotypes. And when I happened to have a friend who is also Asian that I thought was a good person, I would just think that it was an exception, but I didn't really realize that whenever I saw an Asian person, that's what I would assume, even though I was Asian. I think I always felt 
ashamed of you know being Asian. Those stereotypes never really left the people I knew growing up that were also Asian, and they learned to kind of hate their own race and try to run away from the fact that they're Asian. So it was really hard to see kids that would like you know do stupid like things, like chi chong, like saying stupid stuff like that, or like. That definitely happened. And it's funny because, you know, my ancestors have spent generations trying to fit in and, you know, assimilate. You know, I feel like I always viewed myself through the frames that other people provided for me, you know, like I never really gave myself permission to actually view myself through my own frame. <laughs>